Clemson University is a land-grant university that's had a tremendous impact on the world of agriculture. Chip Carter spent some time on campus, and he followed some alumni just to show us how much in our new series, Clemson Reach. Today we learn about a produce company that started in the early 1940s. I'm in Columbia, South Carolina at the State Farmers Market, and I tell you, in these parts, the name Sin Brothers has been legendary for many, many years. This company has its roots stretching all the way back to the 1930s. The founders probably would not recognize it today, though. Absolutely not. Totally different ball game. My father and uncle was working for a man down on Assembly Street in Columbia, South Carolina, and the fellow that owned it found, bought prospect land in Oklahoma for oil. And they found oil on his property. And at that time, he sold the business to my father and uncle. Back in the 80s, I was going duck hunting with a friend of mine I had met in college. And we were riding down the road, and he worked at a restaurant here in town <clears throat> and said that he was getting very bad produce. And he had no idea my family was involved in the produce business. So as we kept riding down the road, he said, y'all know anybody that sells produce? And just kept asking. I said, hey, my, my family's in the business. And uh, we started talking. He said, hey, why don't you just load up your truck one day and just bring me some stuff every day before you go to class? I said, that's a good idea. So I started taking him product up there. And then the lady across the street that had a restaurant saw me delivering the product. So she started buying from me. Then two or three more on Main Street started seeing me sell to them. They started buying from me. And then the business kept growing and growing and growing and growing, you know. And, and now we've got about 40, about a little over 40 trucks, and we work 24-7. I have both my sons coming through, through now. I have Jake and Zach, and Zach is here with me today, and they both are very active involved in the business. They both get up early in the morning. Zach gets here at 4. Jake gets here about 2.30 or 3. Now, you're a proud graduate of Clemson University. What year did you graduate, and what was your degree? I graduated in 2017. Uh, my, my major was agriculture, mechanization, and business, and then I minored in agribusiness. So were you always planning to come right back here and, and start this next generation of SIN? Yes, sir. I was always planning on uh, coming back and, you know, helping the old man out. How did Clemson prepare you to come home and go to work with your family? Yeah, like I said, growing up here, I learned a lot, and then get, taking Clemson to get an education in agriculture, being around a bunch of agriculture. I also worked on a research farm while I was up there. Um, so taking that knowledge and really the, building the connections with the professors, with the, with the research farm, with the extension service, and then uh, be able to bring that back here uh, with all the people I met up there and everything I learned uh, really helped uh, really grow what I do here. If you had been here 80 years ago when all of this got started, it would not have looked like this. It's a good bet that 80 years from now it won't either, but it's a pretty safe bet. Sin Brothers will still be around in South Carolina. I'm Chip Carter from SoutheastProduceWeekly.com reporting for RFD-TV. Remember to tune in for Clemson Reach every Tuesday and Thursday at 1025 a.m. Eastern on the Market Day Report.